Hello valued viewers, I hope you're doing wonderfully well. It's early November 2022 and we've had a new aircraft released in game. It's the MB339A. It is a training and light attack aircraft from Italy with a Rolls-Royce engine producing about £4,000 and a weight of £7,000 empty or just under £8,000 as loaded today. We want to do a fight with it. The obvious fight would be against another trainer slash light attack aircraft but we think that's going to get a little bit boring so we wanted to spice it up so instead we're going to put it up against what we think will be a good match of all of the 1940s warbirds so we're going to have mb339s equipped with the anm3 50 cal gun pods against them will be mosquito with about 3000 horsepower mark 9 spitfire with a late merlin 16 1700 horsepower P51D with a Merlin derivative, about 15, 1600 horsepower. An I-16 with a radial Russian engine of about 1000 horsepower. P47D Jug, double Wasp, over 2000 horsepower. Focke-Wulf 190 D9 Dora, Jumo V12, over 2000 horsepower. And a BF 109 K4 Kerfurst on NW50. 1800 to 2000 horsepower we haven't really had a proper try i've had a bit of a warm-up but not a proper try guys can anyone want to put the hat in a ring and make a prediction what's going to be better i think the warbirds have it i do too yeah i think the spitfire yeah. will easily take it i think uh p51 will easily take it i think the one chance thing's got a chance against is maybe a jug or a mosquito i don't think on a mosquito either in terms of flight model accuracy they are all high fidelity flight models so in theory they should be very accurate flight models guys let's start with 1v1 rules of the fight we start at 8,000 feet we merge two miles in front of us it's a gentleman's merge so we must pass each other and then we can fight if someone runs out of ammunition then they forfeit the match we'll start with myself in a p51 simba in an mb339 we've only got three mb pilots here today so me and simba won't get much of a chance to have a warbird simba are you ready ready three two one go you track me because i've got to mess around with my engine okay so on that on check claps check rpm set okay simba win my gun test good right i've got six 50 cows, he's only got two 50 cows, so I'm three times the armament as him, and we're about the same weight. He's got about uh, lots more horsepower than me. Let's go. Merk. I'm probably only going to get one chance to have more energy than him, so I'm going to take that now. Okay, he's going aggressive, and he's already got more energy than me. That's a little bit annoying, but never mind. I'm expecting to be able to turn tighter than him, but I don't know, I may have that wrong, we'll see. Okay, he's extended into the clouds, you SOV, Simba. That was him. I'm gonna try and get lag. Oh, no, it's... Uh, 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 uh. Oh, oh, that's an error. That really is an error. Right, I'll take that. He's got loads, keeping loads of energy in that plane. That is gonna be a problem for me to try and keep up. Right, I'm starting to control the fight now. Both got 50% fuel. He's doing big, extending, fast vertical loops. Not much of muscle going to do to compete with that, so I'll just wait for him to come down. Looks like the MB339 is going to be forced to do a high energy fight, and the Warbird's just going to sit and turn inside him. Typical Warbird versus Jet fight. Try and force him into an error. He does suffer from compressibility in the aircraft, so if I get him above a certain speed, he will actually lose control of it. Same with me, but it's obviously easier for him to overspeed because it's much more high energy. Look at that, and look how much energy you can retain in that thing. I can only dream of such a thing. Obviously, I have to worry about burning my engine out when he doesn't as well. Oh, I couldn't quite get on in there. So he can just go full chat, whereas I can't. Take a lead here, am I gonna shot? Not quite. Oh, 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 oh. You'll sleep well tonight, Simba. I'm 
definitely more manoeuvrable, but I'm not so much more manoeuvrable that I can turn inside him. Not like a Spitfire. A Spitfire will be able to turn right inside him. I'm going to have to eject myself from the fight temporarily while I regain my speed. All right. Starting again. Like I said, I've got more firepower, so that's good. Look how he keeps higher than me. He knows if he pulls me up there, I'm going to burn my engine out eventually. So I can't go up there. I'm just going to sit and wait. Got his nose on me. Oh, you sod. <laughs> All right, fine. We'll get that back. Using gravity, just call him engine down, and he's gone back up. Here we go. Okay, he's learning how to do it, look. He's using his energy in his big vertical loops. Right, I'm going to have to start doing something different now. I'm going to get some speed up, flaps up. Ouch! Sods. Didn't work so good. Right, I'm trying flaps up now. Higher energy. Got some damage, but it's pretty minor. He can have heavier cannon in that plane there, but he only carries a few rounds for it, so we figured uh, 50 cows would be a, a lot more sustainable. So he's doing the high energy fight exactly as he should, and it's become a real problem for the Mustang. And I'm certainly not the world's best Mustang pilot, so this is going to be very difficult. Right, I need to start pressuring him again. Okay, he's chopping in. Try and neutralise that. Might even get in front of him here. Ah, maybe not. Can't quite get my nose on him. Fight timber wimber. Oh yeah. It's all about trying to hold the right angles and uh, speed to neutralize your turn advantage. Watch three six G. Seven point five and push it. Ouch. I'm really roasting there my engine go. here. There we go. That's my girl. I've got speed. Come to daddy. I've got speed. Ah. Damn it. I need to rest my engine for just a second. I am running out of altitude here. Double KO, Simba. No, nope, I'm still alive. Oh, Jesus Christ. How? You son of a bee. How did that happen? Yes, wow. Unrealistic. Really tough plane. Great fight, though, while it lasted. Jeez. I'm not sure I could have won that, to be honest. I just could not... I just could not get... If I went for high energy, I just couldn't get fast enough before you could drop on my back. So I'm not sure I could have won that. Next, we're going to try a Spitfire, much more manoeuvrable fighter at low speeds against War Dogs in the 339. Guys, make sure you merge in the middle. 3, 2, 1, go. Good luck. So again, what we've learned is that War Dogs wants to do the high energy fight, keep fast, big vertical loops. Violet is going to try and keep, keep lead, keep inside his circle, which you'll obviously be able to do. Remember, Violet, you don't have many his Hispano rounds, so use them sensibly. Don't just spray and pray. 3, 2, 1, merge. Also, be careful about climbing at full power. Remember, you will fry the Merlin if you climb too high, too long on full power. Just a crap way to lose the fight. All right, here we go. War Dogs going for high energy. Give me up nice and high where the Spitfire can't get, or the Spitfire can get, but it'll take a long time. Oh, 
Nice Lucian and a hit. Well done, Wyler. It just turned so beautifully that the wing loading on the Spitfire is absolutely legendary. But Ward looks as well. He doesn't fall into the trap and he goes high energy, goes high. Well, it's pretty much just got to wait for him to come down. Yep. Down he comes. On, right on cue. Oh, and Violet's stalled and given her butt away, basically. But Wardogs is not capitalised, couldn't capitalise on it. Or he might. Not quite. Trying to work his way onto Violet 6. Oh! oh! Too much G, guys! Too much Mr. Dogs! Oh, he's still flying. How about that? Look at that kind of wind spa section. He's off F10. He's off F10. Can you still fly that thing, even with one wing? Yeah. Could have got the bug list. Anyway, that was a win. Forced an error for the pilot. Well done, uh, Violet. I wonder if you weakened his wing with that Hispano hit. He mm -hmm. was yanking a lot of Gs at high speed. Yeah, I'm he, slightly... he did a high onset. I'm going to try MB339 next, and I'm slightly worried about that, but let's just see how it goes. Stand by. Right, I'm trying the MB339. See if I can learn from what those guys were doing. Drop is in the spit, so a complete mismatch in terms of aircraft type. Three, two, one, go. Right, so what have I learned from the guys? Go high energy, go high. Full power all the time, rear stat up, gun test. He's always going to turn inside me. I can also win against the Spit by A, forcing him high, he'll burn his engine out. It just, if he turns, it goes up to so high. Also, if I get him in a uh, downward dive, he will have terrible compressibility and actually shed his wings off and merge. Not going to fall for a quick engagement. Going to go high and I'm going to do little droppy, pecky, pecky attacks. And try not to do the thing I always do, which is get over emotional and overcommit. That's the thing that happens. Sweet clouds. Didn't see that coming. Did you say you were emotional, Cap? I had an emotion once, didn't like it. I'm just gonna cheat for a second, I need to find out where he is roughly. There he is. Alright, I'm coming down. On the owl. I hate the gun sight on this thing. Frig, I've lost him. Uh, F5 is allowed, guys, in case you lo lose him because we wanna get this fight done someday. I can't friggin' see him. God, that's frustrating. Nine o'clock, left to high. Ah, yeah, I got it. Right, fight's on. Okay, I managed to retain a lot of bucket loads of energy during that dive, so I'm going to go straight back up. Come straight back down. Might even get a solution here. May, might and I might not. Racking up the G, watching too much. Don't want to shed the wings. And let's have a pop at him. Oh, no good. Keep the energy high. Not going to commit to a super tight turn. Keep the speed high, going up again, and we'll drop down on him again. Gonna make it a drop problem. So what I'm trying to do is stay up here and jump down on my perch every now and then and just have a little peck there. Peck, 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 peck. Eventually force him into an error, get him frustrated, let him burn his engine out, whatever. I hate this gun sight. You see how it moves because it's an inertial gun sight, but it's pretty rubbish to be honest. I'd rather have much have a fixed sight and just use the traces. Right, this is a definite solution coming up, guys, so. Hits, I think. Any problem I've got now is I've only got 250 cal guns and... Oh, is he dead? No. no. Energy high again. Yeah, I'm trying to do exactly what you were doing, Simba. Big, fast loops. Spitfire just cannot keep with me. Might get a solution again. Go in front of him. Where is he going? Watch for compressibility. Where is he? Ah, missed. Right, watch the over G. Don't load the wings up too much. Anyone know what point the wings break? Uh, eight, or if you do a oh, rapid okay. onset. Oh, he's found. He's got his. He's got his little hispanos on me. Can he capitalise? I'm getting out of there. Oh, ouch! Drop. Shot me. Where did he hit me? Where did he hit me? Okay, he's weak in my left wing. Got to be careful now. That was probably a Hispano here. And he's got almost six. Okay, but what he hasn't got is all this kinetic energy I've got. Look how high I can go. And there is almost nothing he can do to, to keep with that. Oh, I say that. No, he can't. Look, he can't get his nose around. And what he's going to do is probably going to stall himself. or will get low energy. I always underestimate the spit and I always come off worse for it. That's one problem. Okay, is that a... No, he's still going, look. Yep, yep, I've ruined that. I'm going to do the only thing... An Englishman can do run away. Bye, bye, drop. Nose down. He's just simply outmaneuvered me there. Didn't waste his ammo. Remember, if you run out of ammo, it's game over. All right, plenty of speed, so I am going to recommit. 
You, there's no way he can get his nose up here. It's just not possible. If he does, it's... Oh, God. Well, I may have been wrong. He's out of a spawn around. He's only got 303. That's good. Just neutralise his hitting power. He's doing much better in the vertical, vertical than I thought he could, but... I said it always underrated this bit. But okay, that's a good solution right there. No, can't quite get it. Any hits there, guys? Yep. Yay! Like I said, the only problem... I've got to hit you with about a million of these shots. To... I still prefer it than the uh, Deffers, though. 120 shots. You've peppered his right wing. He's peppered my right wing. Oh, he's just giving his back away as well. I'll take that. Take that drop. This Abo is so big, I keep losing him in it. It's really annoying. I'm not using the gun sight at all at this moment. Your viewers, I'm just... Oh. Oh. See, when it was buffeting there, it's because I'd overloaded too much angle of attack on a wing. I did that in a real Yak-52 the other day and nearly stalled it. Uh, I'll put the video out soon. That was a bad thing to do. In-game, doesn't matter. Real life, not so much. My pilot would be exhausted now in real life. It's const constant G-force. It's really mega. Finally drop. Finally. Oh, almost solution. Oh, 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 oh. He's brake check me. Don't fall for it. Bye, yo-yo. Roll over, let him wrap right him stool, and back on top of him. Guess I'm baby. I'm pretty much just full throttle all the time. This measly little engine. I can't really overspeed. It's just not fast enough, not powerful enough. It's kind of cool in a way because I don't even have to worry about it. I can just go full power all the time. Oh, ice can get so slow. Yes, he's turned his back on me. I will take that. Sort of in lag, sort of not, definitely not. I saw him uh, struggling there, I saw his wings starting to rock, which means he's really working at the max of that aeroplane. Okay, here we go. Couldn't get the lead on him. Sorry about the cockpit washout, it seems something new in game, and I haven't figured out why it does it. It's getting worse. Here's a question mark. Negative. Got, got to disengage and re defog my canopy. Canopy defog. I think he might have going to struggle to get over this ridge. Oh, it's kind of a drop problem. Yeah, my engine's not doing too well. Yeah, okay. we've just. Didn't open your radiator flaps. Here's a question mark. Confirm. Yep. yep. Yes. He's running out of everything. He's running out of endurance. Oh. Yes! Yeah, the yep. That's it. That's part of the game, guys. I can't kill the engine on this. It's governed and I can't kill it. That Spitfire is not governed. It's all about pilot skill. It's all about being conservative with it. And um, it's just part of flying a 1940s plane. Uh, we've got the Matrix in BF-109. Really good dogfighter World War II. Simba in a 339 with his high energy style. Let's go, guys. Now, an improvement of the BF-109 over the Spitfire is that its engine is governed. So... I mean, this is not totally true, but theoretically, the kind of analog computer inside will stop you overkilling the engine. Uh, you can still kill the engine, but it's much less user-based. Merge on three, two, one, go. 109 has a much higher wing loading than the Spitfire, but it's still probably better than the 339, I would imagine. Now, one important thing about the about the 109 value viewers is it's only got full power uh, for. A, few minutes and then he'll never get it again because he uses something called ethanol water mix and he's only got a certain reservoir of it so you will see the 109 getting slower during the battle in terms of flaps usage i like using the flaps on the bf109 as they are maneuver flaps but it is optional obviously it means it will reduce speed so maybe it's not suitable You can see the cooling flaps underneath there, underneath the wing. Again, they are automated with the governor on. No lead. In terms of firepower, we've got two 30mm machine guns in the engine cowling. And in the centre of the block, we've got a 30mm Mark 108 cannon. Pretty much one of those rounds will hit and destroy that plane there. But to hit someone with a cannon is very difficult. You've got to do it pretty much a point blank, and it is a low velocity cannon as well. Simba's doing his usual thing of staying high and above the warbird. Major's trying to scramble up there, but it's very difficult. 
terms of power, this is about 2,000 horsepower with NW50. That is about six or 7,000 horsepower if you were to convert it into horsepower. And hence, look how high you can stay. The wall bird just can't get up there in time. Good fight so far. Both utilizing the uh, benefits of each plane. This has um, leading edge droops, as you can see, or slats. Notorious for getting jammed in real life on the early versions. No hits. Oh, oh you're you weakening his wing. You're weakening his wing. Well done. That's one good thing. If you do weaken its wing, you're out, Simba. It does shed really easily. So I'm glad that's kind of modelled. It's almost oh. like it's almost like it's hit a spark. Good shot, mid. Good shot. Yeah, good shot. Right. That is now two to Warbird, two to MP339. So so far, equal score. Well done, guys. Next, Violet in Focke Wolf 190. Uh, Dora, which is an interesting choice, and Poosh in the MB339. Guys, you know the rules, off you go. So we've got another governed engine in this MB, uh, sorry, in this Fogger Wolf. Really good engine. Big Jumo V12, 2000 horsepower without NW50, I think. Yeah, I think that's right in saying that. This is not much of a close in dogfighter, by which I mean it doesn't turn like a Spitfire, it doesn't turn like a BF109, but it is much more of a high energy fighter. It's actually going to fly much more like. The MB339, or if she does it right, it's gonna pop, you know, it's gonna be tactically much more like the MB339. Lots of power, lots of speed. Let's see how she does. I noticed when Cortana fights with this aircraft, she uses maneuver flaps, but again, it's, it's optional. It will, it will reduce our speed. Push going for super high energy first. Uh, vertical, really good speed from uh, Violet here. Always. Oh, surprised how well this thing can climb and it is a brilliant climber. Will she get a nose on him? I don't think so. Nope. And she's out of speed. But she's into a tail chase. Now Poosh will have a lot more energy coming out of here so he'll outrun her pretty easily to be honest. Not much Violet can do apart from trying not to smash her engine up. Wait and just use geometry. She'll turn inside him to shorten the distance and reduce the distance. Note how she doesn't go up after him and that's almost certainly the right thing to do. Trying to keep our energy high. Eventually that jet will have to come down. Push is going aggressive. And Violet get a nose on here. Pretty good gun sight in the Dora. Maybe. Any hits, anyone? Very good. Massive energy from the MB. Good move, Violet. Concentrate, Violet, don't spray and pray. It's got away again. I think she might have got the engine. Say again? Might have got the engine. I'm not sure I have quite as much power. Roger, let's see how that goes. No obvious hit marks on the aircraft. In terms of firepower, I think, sorry if I got this wrong, I think it's three 13mm machine guns. No, four 13mm machine guns in that plane there. Look at that, 400 knots. There was no way even a Sea Fury couldn't dive like that. him in front of him a bit more use geometry by that it'll help you catch up that's it have to ask for a bit more aggression from you push otherwise we'll we'll never get the uh, never get it done okay it's gonna put his start trying to put his nose on by a bit more it means we will give his back away but it's just how it is Careful, Violet. 
Violet's done a really good job. She hasn't stalled her wing once, which is really easy to do in this plane, by the way. Okay, they're all out of altitude. They're now both putting a lot of angle of attack, both really aggressive. Oh, she lost oh. her wing! She lost her wing! Oh, there was me saying it as well. It's very easy to do in that aircraft, and she had no room to uh, recover as well because she was right over a mountain. Wrong place, wrong time, Violet. It happens, yep. pilot fatigue kicks in, just lose that wing. Okay, next 2v2s, Cap and Simba, MB329, Scott and Drop, uh, Mustang, Spitfire, 3, 2, 1, go. Same rules, try and stick near your wingman, so make sure you merge before firing. I've merged with one, about to merge with the other, merge with the other. At least as far as I'm concerned, fight's on, let's go. Super high energy, valued humans, learn from what we've done so far. Right now it's 1v2, I don't know where Simba went. All right. Did you not hear me? My game crashed. Roger. Pooch, you want to jump in? Sure. Come back me up. Right, I want to find the Mustang. The Mustang I can force into an error because laminar wing, it will stall a lot easier. So I'm going to go for the Mustang. I can also make him fry his engine as well. It's not really a governed engine. Oh, this gun sight, I swear. I can barely see the traces. Machine, you Scott. Forcing you to an error. Oh, got some hits though. Right, I'm worried about that spit next. Scott, if you get the chance, open your radiator. Ah, shit! What happened there? If I break my. Ah, oh, I snapped my wing up. Doug, damn it. Good luck, Poosh. I got too involved. Oh, that's, that's a really dangerous thing in this plane, isn't it? Uh, you can yeah. almost fly with it if you use rudder. Yeah, but it's stupid though. We couldn't do that in real life, so. Oh, I did get some hits on him. Look at those holes. There are some definite holes, guys. Oh! Mustang's going for him. Your oh, my... flaming body is still huh. going. Not sure about that flight model, Simba, if I'm completely honest. Seems a bit off. It just came out. They'll tweak on it. Roger. I just meant that it flies perfectly with the wing out. Oh, ho, ho. Scott almost got him. Oh, you got him. All right. Keep it going. I am still alive. That's kind of weird. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> How about that drop? That's staying, that's staying on the camera. Oh. That summarizes your day, doesn't it? Yes. COVID third time and, uh, and that. Come on, Scott. It's all up to you. We want to go to bed at some point, so come and shoot this man. Press F5, it'll show you where he is. Hey, your plane finally friendly crash. Yay. Yeah. Any hits, guys? No. Nope. nope. Oh, I think Scott might have just lost his wing. Uh -oh. He lost his wing! Oh, he got it back. A save. The difference is between that and what Violet did. Violet had no altitude. Uh, Scott had loads of altitude to deal with it, so he could get that wing back, he'd get the angle of attack down, the wing starts working again. Scott doesn't hits. have his iron today. Oh, he got hits! Hit again, I saw hits again. More hits. Oh, it's working! Yes, yeah, so Pooch's got to be careful now, because he's got a damaged wing spar. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Mustang's got in his nice place. I think Fuchs is down on power as well. He's topping out 270 knots. The, the Mustang can do 270 knots. There is not much Fuchs can do now. Right, do good shooting, Scott. You will catch him up. You, you use your geom geometry, you will catch him up. Bits are coming off, Fuchs. He's getting slower and slower. Yeah. Mustang's catching up. Just sit in the driver's seat, Mustang. Kind of spraying and praying right now. It's his sight. Got it on the wrong seat. Ah. Uh, yeah. Gyro gun sights are terrible. Can't use them in dogfights. Oh, 
Oh, I don't want to be in that Mustang right now. It's on a plate. Is this the uh, A10 of uh, trainers with the titanium hull? Yeah, it's quite strong, isn't it? Oh, why won't you die push? I swear a lot of those rounds are going through it. Been hit a bunch of times, uh, yeah. Yeah, more hits. I think the damage model's a bit suspect. Yeah, not quite working, is it? Alright, hurry up and use your Rambo Mustang. We'll just give it as a win for you, because obviously that yeah. plane would have died about half an hour ago. Alright, we'll get back to the Mustang, guys. Uh, right, <laughs> which puts us in a weird situation where it's 3-3. Three, three. Guys, so we, we, could, we need to do one more tiebreaker. Three versus three. Simba, Cap, Poosh, MB339, Matrix, Violet, Drop, BF109, Dora, and Spitfire. Oh, you've got a bit of everything in there, guys. Three, two, one, go. I don't know what to suggest. I suggest doing a thing would be a good idea. You could think uh, about doing that. I have a plan. Oh, who's, the them... who's the weakest? Who's the weakest? I don't know. You could do the old A10 wheel. Nah, we're not as organized for that. Organized enough for that. All right, boys, let's do a thing. I'm going for Violet because she's got the highest wing loading. I think that is a weakness for Violet. Yep, I got it. Rocking in. My best chance of getting on her six, I think. Right, don't smash the wings off, Cap. Don't smash the wings off. Don't smash the wings off. You watch me smash the freaking wings off. Right, coming off the power this time. Oh, this Abo is so big. Freaking Tomka Abo. All right, Violet, you ain't going anywhere. Go in and force them into an error, get a compressibility, get to shed a wing, anything will do me. Keep an eye on my mirror as well, just make sure a Spitfire or something doesn't sneak up on me. Where are you going, Violet? Where are you going? Plane's really good at retaining its energy, look at that. But she will run out in the end, it's much harder to fly than my plane, so. Where is she? Oh, uh, friggin' A, but, uh oh. I think the Abos in this game are generally are way too big. In real life, if you fly real planes, which I started doing a little bit now, it's because you, you've got two eyes, you kind of, it has a way of filtering out the Abo a bit. In game, you just put this whacking great polygon and you just can't can't see around it. Anyway, that's my theory. That's what I think. Well done, Simba. Who are you firing up? Uh, I boom and zoomed Violet. I did Violet as well. We're all on Violet. Violet, how does it feel? She's not interested. Uh, we've identified her as the weakest. She's got the heaviest wing loading. She can't turn as well as the others. So, and we are giving her lots of boom boom. Although she's very tough. Again, yeah, we're... one in trail cat. Roger, Roger, Roger. What is he? Yep. Okay, I've got it. I'm just gonna. I'm running away. Yep. All right, I'm fine. Okay, so Simba identified a baddie on That's me. Gonna beat me out. Oh, Violet's out. Yep, we did give a lot of. We gave you a lot of boom, boom, Violet. Right, so I'm going to 400 knots, basically. Hits on Simba. Well done. Yes, you did. Oh no, not well done. You're on the other side, aren't you? All right, you just keep okay. him busy. We're gonna tag team the 109. So you just keep him busy, Simba. Just do your high shit. We've got the 109. We're all over him like a cheap suit. We're giving him maximum boom boom. We'll make an error, he'll stall a wing, he'll do something. Again, much harder to fly those planes. All over the 109 now. Jesus, that Poosh has got mega, mega aggressive. When did you turn into a killer, Poosh? No, that's me. Oh, I was going to say. That's not me. I'm right, I'm backing you up, Zimba. I'm just trying not to crash into you pretty much at the moment, to be honest. And I've just missed my circle. Whoops. Heavens Valley viewers, don't that's miss your right. circle. He is low and slow. Yes, he is. He can raid it's around. Very hard for a 109 to get that back now. It doesn't have the horsepower, the thrust driving force of these planes. And it's going to struggle to get that back. And he's going to get slower and slower and make him an error. Uh oh, speaking of an error. <gasps> oh, fucking hell. Oh, I sacrificed myself trying to get Matrix. How about that? Right, 2v2. The Spitfire is not showing up on F10. Is he still flying and not? He's got two wings. 
Half of one. I'll allow it. Good kill, whoever shot him. Or good hit. Matrix is being annoying. Ooh. That, that was is hit. definitely a clip wing. That's hit on Matrix, and he's not smoking. Man, these guns are gutless. Look how low on energy yeah. he is. Look, he's just trying to stay alive now. He's probably got some few or some oil problems as well. Just a matter of time now. And look, he's giving us back up again and again. I can just sit and relax, pretty much. Hits, and his radiator's gone. That's his radiator. He's only got a few minutes. Oh. Okay. Apparently his radiator hasn't gone. Apparently they can fix it. <laughs> Come on, Pooch, just get this 109. He hasn't got much life left in him. And here is Daimler Benz. 605. And that thing. Oh, and it is really struggling. Just keep it in the sky now for Matrix is his task. Watch out. He's got, I see he's got his flaps fully open, his coolant flaps. He's trying to keep his engine cool. But the more power he puts through that, the more that block heats up. And that's Matrix done. And Matrix is out. Well done, guys. That was a proper battle, that was. I'm going to finish him off anyway. Go, go, go down the style. Yeah. Well done, guys. Oh. Really, really good battle, guys. See if Matrix can land it then. That's how it should have been from the start, but it's all good. You can't. He's lost a wing. Oh, he's dead. Sort of landed. All right. Does the gear come out? Flaps down. That's the airspeed. All oh, the airspeed is not good. Breaks out. Any landing you can walk away from is a good landing. Did he walk away? No, he says he's destroyed on mine, but... I don't think... This I'll person's out of the... Cockpit. Landing gear doesn't look great, Cup. Stand by. Yep. Ha! Huh. <laughs> Slam it down anyway, guys. What's the worst that can happen? Yep. About. That is slightly problematic, isn't it, guys? Go on, then. Who got me? Matrix. Or no... Look at that, that's a nice, beautiful J slide. To I'll the take end. it, guys. Now that you can definitely walk away from. Woo! Guys, at the end of that, MB339, and that's Britney Exhaustive Test, and MB33914, Allbirds13. It's just a titchy, witchy, witchy bit better if flown correctly. Simple as that. Anything to add, guys? Well, I think you hit it on the nail. It's all about speed management and pilot. I think pilot skills showed out. And yeah, keeping one eye on your G meter on the 339. Yeah, again, experience required for that. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that. See you later.